Hey, how's it going YouTube? Um, today I wanted to make a video uh, showing you guys how to turn an old router that you have in your house into a wireless repeater. Um, so now you may be wondering what a wireless repeater is. Basically a wireless repeater is something that extends your Wi-Fi connection in your house. So let's say you have your router, your wireless router normally everybody has a wireless router uh, let's say you have that in one corner of your house and then the other corner of your house your Wi-Fi signal is really weak so you're not getting the full speed of your Wi-Fi you're just getting maybe 30 or 40 percent of that speed so um, in order to strengthen that speed uh, to strengthen that signal you wanna use a wireless repeater what the wireless repeater does is it takes that signal you want to put your wireless repeater midway between your router and that room that's not getting signal you want to put it midway in the middle and what the repeater is going to do is it's going to take the signal from your router and it's going to recreate it or like amplify that signal and then we send it out again so that way uh, that's that area that's not getting strong signal it's going to get a, a string of a signal that's recreated from that repeater so it's you're getting better signal uh, another common situation is a lot of people their basement doesn't have um, their basements not getting uh, signal strong signal so you may want to think of using a repeater between the uh, midway between your router that may be on your main floor and your basement because a lot of the time signals get weakened because of walls in our houses or the drywall uh, even just people standing in the way or doors everything that's in the way it weakens the signal so uh, using a repeater is a really good idea and what's more is that if you what were you get this video is for using an old router so if you have an old router in your house and it's just lying there you can convert that into a wireless repeater um, now the way we're gonna do it today is we're gonna use we're gonna flash our router and use it uh, using an, a firmware called DDWRT it's very common if you look on the internet a lot of people use DDWRT uh, mostly because their um, May, mostly because their own router don't maybe it doesn't have all the features that you need for your router if your router already has the repeater feature then it's good no problem but most routers don't come with that feature so in order to see if you can still add that feature you want to use this DDWRT so for the purpose of my video today I'm going to be using something called um, I, I'm going to be using my old router which is a D-Link DIR615. It's a very common router. A lot of people have it. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to, uh, let's just go to google.com and let's look up DDWRT. Oops, I put a slash there, but yeah. Basically, this is the website we want to go dd wrt.com. I'll put that in the description. So once you come to this website, you're here in the DDWRT website. Dot com. Once you come here, you want to click over here where it says Rotor Database, or over here where it says Rotor Database. So we'll click on that, and then now you just want to you want to check the model of your old router that you're going to be using as a wireless repeater. Check up that model, and then over here just type the name of that uh, the model of your router. So for me, it's a uh, D-Link. Actually, it's a D-Link, but the model number is DIR-615. Okay, so now you'll see that here it says the model number is D-Link D DIR-615. And the revision that on my, my road, on my router is C1. So that's the one I'm going to be using. Now for you, you may, you enter the model of your router that you have make sure you use the exact spelling of it so that it'll find it correctly and then um, once 
and then when you when you check up your model it'll tell you if it's supported or not if DDWRT is supported or not so if it says yes then of course it is supported if it says no then unfortunately it's not um, supported yet so you'll have to wait or you may want to think of using a different router but uh, if it says WIP it means it's, it's work in progress so for me it's yes if it's a yes then this this is a go you guys can go ahead and follow through with this video so I'm gonna click on this it'll expand and then now you just want to download the one the uh, firmware that applies to you so for me it's uh, dir 615 c1 c2 firmware web flash image for first installation and where here it says factory to ddw2 ddwrt firmware so what that means is it's the factory uh, like you haven't installed any custom firmware on your router already then you want to use this one because then you're going to do go from factory router settings to ddwrt firmware so you want to download this click on this it'll start downloading once it finishes downloading then you just go to your router and then you go to the administration panel and then go to firmware or some you'll see a setting that says firmware and then in that firmware you'll have it you'll have an upload button where you can upload new firmware if you want so that's where you want to you want to hit upload then you want to install this uh, this file the dot bin file you select this and then it'll upload and then it'll automatically do all the flashing it'll flash your router and then after that your router will be ready to go with DDWRT now make sure this is your older router so uh, don't do this on your your main router in your house uh, you could if you want it's no problem DDWRT is a really great firmware but for this video because we're doing it on an old router just to use as a repeater use it uh, flash your old router so just plug in your old router to to a computer somewhere and then normally the IP address of that router will be 192.168.1.1 uh, or 0 0.1 uh, or sometimes even 2.1 but those are the general IPs that you'll that your router will be having for me uh, I already flashed my router so and uh, I changed all the settings so it's already a repeater so I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what settings to change so now once you flash your router then you go to 192 I'm gonna go to my I changed my router IP to 1.55 for you, like I said, it will be 1.1 1 .1 or 0 0.1, something along those lines. If you're not sure, look at the bottom of your old router and it will tell you what the IP of it is. So once you're here, this is the screen that you'll get for your router, your DDWRT control panel. This is what it looks like. So now let's to get everything organized. We have so far we just downloaded DDWRT. We flashed our old router, and then this is what it'll look like. For me, I it's 1.55 because I changed it to become 1.55. For you, it'll be 1.1 or 0.1. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is go to setup. Click setup, and then you can see it's loading. Hit enter okay so once you come here you hit setup then you go to basic setup so I'm already on the basic setup tab and some of the uh, a few of these will look different because I already changed everything to be set up like a wireless repeater so I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what to change and uh, that way it'll it'll be a smooth process for you guys so first off in connection type it'll be a drop down you'll have a drop down menu here go drop uh, in the drop down select disabled that's the first thing you want to do just select disabled then after that just give your router a name any any name is fine so I just used a chain repeater or you can just call it repeater 
no problem. Anything you want, just give your rotor a name. And then uh, after that, under the network setup, rotor IP, enter the IP of your rotor that you want. Because um, by default, it's going to be 1.1. You see how I changed it to 1.55. The reason you're doing this is because uh, uh, 1.1 is the IP of your original your main router in your house that's the one that's sending out the Wi-Fi signal you don't want to use the same IP again otherwise there'll be a conflict and both routers won't work uh, or won't get like the Wi-Fi in your house won't work properly so use 1.2 or 1. anything else or as long as it's within uh, the range of your original router so first check what your original router IP is gonna be so uh, in my main router I'm using one dot something if yours is zero dot then make it zero dot zero dot two zero dot three and any number other than zero dot one okay uh, that's a general rule so I just chose 55 subnet mask keep it as two five five two five five two five five zero and um, subnet mask changes according to what your local IP will be so as long as you're using 192.168.1. One something, then this will be fine. After that, in the gateway, enter the IP of your main router. So, like I said, so uh, your main router, you want to go go over to your main router, check what that IP is. So, an uh, easy way to check is if you go open command prompt. Uh, normally, you go to start under CMD. And then command prompt opens, and then just type IP config, and then here you, it tells me the IP of your, my main router, which is 192.168.1.1. Okay, so enter that. That's the default gateway. That's your router that's giving Wi-Fi. So enter that. After that, local DNS you can just leave at zero zero. Don't you don't have to enter anything here. Then in here, uh, another thing that'll be there is it'll, it'll ask some stuff about DHCP. Just uh, leave that because when you select disabled over here, the DHCP will go off. The settings will disappear later on. So under the WAN port, assign WAN port to switch. Check that off. So that's a cool feature that allows you to change that WAN port on your router. Your router that's going to become a repeater. You can change that WAN port into a switch port as well. So that's just an uh, additional feature that you have. After that, the time settings don't really matter. Then you can just hit save. Hit save. And then from here, then hit apply settings. So we'll hit apply settings. And then you'll see that the process, uh, it'll, the process will change. Now, the very important thing is that uh, before we continue, on your browser enter the IP your new IP the IP that you entered here whatever it was if it was dot uh, 1.2 or 1.55 enter that IP because by default remember it was 1.1 before so now you want to enter your new IP so 1.55 and then you, it'll take you to your uh, it'll take you to your router because we applied settings it takes a while to apply all those like get all those settings up and running and then after that you want to just enter that IP on your browser so right now it's not recognizing anything yet let's go again there you go so now it's working it's back up and you can see the line IP is 1.55 okay so after you do that then go back to setup and then here now you want to just go to advanced routing in advanced routing make sure the operating mode here is router it might it, by default it may be set to gateway so you want to change that to router and then hit save hit save there okay and then after that go to wireless It's taking a little bit 
I'm not directly connected to the router right now because I'm it is my repeater currently so that's why it's going through Wi-Fi it's a little bit oh. okay okay there now we're here in the wireless so in the wireless this is the settings that I have set up right now so you want to change the wireless mode to client bridge and then after that uh, you can have this as auto DHCP it'll automatically uh, use the DHCP from your main router and then the wireless network mode keep it at mixed um, it's not generally it's not a good, yet, good idea to use something that's only like B only G only um, and only just mixed is the easiest way because it'll automatically detect whatever mode your router your main router is using and then just start using that in the channel width you can select uh, leave it at you can leave it at 20 megahertz or you can leave it at dynamic 20 to 40 so we'll leave it at 20 and then now enter the SSID of your uh, home router Wi-Fi network this is very important use exactly the SSID that your home router uses so for me my main connection it's called home net so that's what I'm using the SSID is going to be home net and then under advanced settings make sure the network configuration here is set, set to bridged so you have that as bridged and then after that um, because we're going to make this a re wireless repeater you have to add a virtual interface so you, you just click add it'll this will d appear by default this is not there so you have to hit add then this comes up and then in the wireless mode select WDS AP and then after that you can uh, enter an SSID this is this is uh, a new SSID that will start being broadcasted from your repeater so I'm using HomeNet RP so for example when you check your tablet Wi-Fi now you're gonna have this one this new one called HomeNet RP and you will also see home net, home net which is coming out of your main router and then this repeater this repeater it'll be broadcasting home net rp and then after that just make sure enabled is selected here wireless society broadcast is enabled and then hit save now the next step is you go to wireless security the wireless security tab and here uh, enter all the security settings that your um, that your current Wi-Fi in your house uses that for me because I have my home net wireless connection that I'm using enter the password uh, the wireless security settings for that so for me I'm using WPA2 personal um, and then the algorithm is AES so you want to use exactly what your home connection is using so and then you have to enter the password for that because what this repeater is going to do is it's actually going to log on to your Wi-Fi connection and then it's going to resend that out again right so you have to enter the settings for security mode then the password, the A algorithm, WPA algorithm, and then enter the the your Wi-Fi key that you're using. So this is I've entered my password already. You can enter your password. And uh, now here, this is the security settings that you're gonna apply to your Wi-Fi connection that you're gonna be sending out from your repeater. So the you know how we when we added that virtual interface and we called it um, HomeNet RP now we're going to apply security settings to that if you want to just leave it open you can just set disabled anybody can log into it no problem but that's not secure so it's better to add a password so uh, I have it set to WPA2 personal and I'm using AES and then I enter a password here and then after that just hit save Okay. okay, after it's saved, the next thing you want to do is go to services and uh, 
sorry not services you want to go to security and here the SPI firewall you want to disable because the reason you're doing this is because your main router already has a firewall there's no need to add a firewall for this as well so you want to disable this this is only acting as a repeater if you are going to use your DDWRT router as an actual router then you want to enable security but because we're using this as a repeater your main router is your security firewall so disable this then under here where it says block one request uncheck everything except filter multicast leave that on and then after that just hit um, you can hit save and then after that hit apply settings and all those changes that we made it will be applied to your router it may take a little while because it's just processing everything and then once it's ready we can refresh the page go back to a router 192.168.1.55 so you can see because it's still applying the changes it's not loaded yet it's still taking a little while so we'll have to wait for that okay let's see try reloading oops it's doing a google search by mistake let's reload it so you can see it's still not uh, refreshed yet. It's applying the changes still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when it refreshes. Okay guys, so it refreshed and we're back. So I just entered the IP of my router again and it came up. And once you're here, now you want to go to status, the status tab. And under the status tab, what we want to do is you want to go to the wireless tab here click wireless after that click site survey and then site survey what it's going to do is it's going to look at all the different Wi-Fi connections in our around our house so my main Wi-Fi connection from my router is home net that's the one so this is the one that we're looking at and then just uh, you want to look for your own Wi-Fi connection and then hit join after that I'll say successfully joined the following network as a client and I'll say home net and then hit continue and that is pretty much it guys and now you'll notice that um, your new Wi-Fi connection in your house you'll have um, you'll have one called your original Wi-Fi which is home net and then you'll have your uh, your your uh, boosted signal Wi-Fi connection from your repeater which is for me it's called HomeNet RP for you it'll be whatever you called here for their virtual e interface so that's pretty much it if uh, you can now change those devices that have weak signal that's far away from your main router you can connect them on to HomeNet RP, enter the password that you uh, entered in here in the wireless security, enter that password, and they all those additional devices can log on to this connection, and it will be using your main router in Wi-Fi, but just a stronger signal, and you'll have faster internet. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this was kind of long, and. Um, I may have babbled on and explained things too much but I hope this video helps you guys out still and anyone who needed this help and if you had any trouble with it let me know. Um, I did a lot of research before doing this I had to troubleshoot a lot but these are the settings that got everything working for me so thank you guys please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and uh, share this video. Thanks guys and take care.